I had a phone interview first because I didn't live here. The whole team that I was going to be working with, um, they sounded really friendly and really helpful in because I'm a new grad. I just got the feeling that uh, everybody was very kind and I really respect that. We do start new grad nurses in ER, in ICU, in OR, in recovery room, places that maybe they wouldn't get the opportunity to start elsewhere. We really try to foster their growth and we have the time to spend with them. I would never want to keep someone in my unit just because they're great at what they do. I want them to grow and be able to grow other nurses into future leaders of our hospital. I started as a nurse and I loved being at the bedside with my patients. I love working with people and caring for them. And then when I wanted to do something new, the hospital had so many more opportunities, so I was able to come into this role as manager at Welch, and then when I was feeling like I was ready to grow some more, I was able to pursue this opportunity with running the new transitional care unit, and it's just exciting to be part of something that where I can continually grow. It's hard to find a job in healthcare sometimes that feels supportive and that everyone's on the same page, and this place provides that. It's gotta be, I think, probably the best thing about the hospital is that you're allowed to improve yourself and you're kind of allowed to guide it. The Shared Memorial is very fortunate to have a wide variety of specialties for the size of town that we live in. If you are to have a heart attack, you are able to go into a cardiac catheterization lab and have care within minutes. Often the cardiologist is waiting at the ER door for you. Offerings we have for surgical procedures are excellent, and I think that's a direct reflection of how desirable it is to live in Sheridan. If you want a small town community without feeling trapped, in a small town in the middle of nowhere, this is a great place. Now, if you want to get a chance to experience the outdoors, this is a wonderful place. I did not know the mountains here were a thing. <laughs> so driving in and seeing like the mountains was really cool. Uh, it was so beautiful. And what's so good about Sheridan when it comes to the outdoors is you feel like it's just you out there. Backpacking, day hiking, fly fishing up in the big horns, the streams. It's a 30 minute drive and I'm in the heart of the Bighorns, and it's amazing. And now I have a little one, and I'm excited to show him. I've been here in Sheridan for seven years now. It was just me, my two boys, and then I started working here. I felt like I gained new family that's always there for me and my two boys. Sorry, I'm crying. <laughs> It's not just about taking care of your patients, it's about taking care of each other and your people. And there's some ownership there because you want to make sure the people you're working with are doing all right. If we're treating each other with kindness and respect, we naturally are going to pass that on to the care that we provide and the experience that our patients have. I think that's a big part of uh, why we're able to create loyalty within our community around this hospital. On my way to work, I always see the mountain. It's really beautiful. I love this town. I know it's a smaller town compared to, you know, the city, but there's a lot of stuff you can do here. I think more people should come and work here, especially in light of the pandemic. I think everybody, every human in this country is probably looking for some simplification in their lives looking for a way to enjoy their work, but also enjoy their family, um, to have a little bit more space, room to breathe. And for all those reasons, being in Sheridan in general is a perfect place. And the fact that this is an amazing hospital where you can do the work you're passionate about is the icing on the cake.